The first face-to-face -face battle between U.S. Senate candidates Maisie Hirono and Linda Lingle was hosted today by the Honolulu Japanese Chamber of Commerce. And it certainly was a chippy affair. KITV4's Andrew Pereira has our top story. Andrew. Yeah, Paula, both candidates took issue with statements made during the hour-and-a-half-long forum. The differences between the former Republican governor and the Democratic U.S. representative couldn't be more clear, especially on big issues like the $16 trillion national debt. So one of the first places that I, uh, that I would uh, cut is all those tax breaks to the more tax breaks for the richest 2% of the people in our country, which I know my opponent uh, continues to support. Lingle countered that even if you tax the rich at a 100% rate, it wouldn't do much to address the problem. You just took away all of their money. It would total $240 billion. That would pay 18% of the deficit for one year. The exchange between the two candidates grew quarrelsome when Hirono insisted Lingle was co-chair of the Romney-Ryan campaign for president. Uh, excuse me, Dan. She said that twice, and that's just not it a factual statement. You are, you are could you, chair. Uh, uh, could you just uh, could uh, okay. you that team? Lingle is an honorary chair of the Jewish Americans for Romney Coalition, which Hirono continued to pounce on. There's no question that Linda Lingo is the number one draft pick for the National Republican Party. For her to keep repeating something that's not true, I think, goes to her character, and she should stop it. Each candidate also foreshadowed their line of attack leading up to November's general election. But she's missed 127 votes already this year, and she's never passed one bill in her six years in the United States Congress. Hirono portrayed Lingle as one of the critical cogs in the Republican Party's attempt to take over the Senate and end Senator Dan Inouye's control of the powerful Appropriations Committee. It means that they will repeal Obamacare and the millions of seniors in our country as well as hundreds of thousands in Hawaii will be hurt by that. Now, both candidates did agree on the need to waive the maximum taxable earnings for the Social Security program beyond $110,000. And, of course, KITV4 is also hosting a Hirono Lingle debate in about a month. It will be televised live on Tuesday, October 16th from 8 to 9 p.m. Paula?